nearly 400 miles off the coast of Alaska, a 93-foot fishing trawler, the Arctic Rose, is working in the stormy waters of the Bering Sea. Their second day here, they've already struck Bering Sea gold, a 10-ton catch of valuable flatfish. Captain Rundle's plan is to hold their position overnight so they can drop their nets in the same place tomorrow morning. On the bridge, they're changing shifts. First mate Carrie Egan will stand watch overnight, and Captain Rundle heads to his bunk behind the bridge. After 16 years at sea, Davies decided to call it quits and make this his final season. Then, around 3.30 in the morning, something isn't right. We need to get her up right. I'll try you! Get her. Come on! Come on, come on. Get her back, get her back! Guys, get your suits on! Come on! Good! Only one thing might save them, survival suits. For the crew of the Arctic Rose, that time has run out. A distress signal is sent out from the Arctic Rose. The Arctic Rose's coordinates are transmitted to an overhead satellite, then relayed to the Coast Guard station in Kodiak, Alaska. More than 800 miles away, it'll take at least four hours to get there. Despite two days of intensive searching, no survivors are found. The floating immersion suits suggests someone took them out during the emergency, but there was no time to put them on. The crew of the Arctic Rose is declared lost at sea. It's the deadliest commercial fishing accident in U.S. waters in 50 years.